Hey Pod Squad, welcome back. I'm Diksha and Yona and I together are second year residents, first of all, in podiatry. And we together like to spread the word about podiatry and everything foot and ankle surgery related. Um, I personally had some of my motivation or spark or whatever you'd like to call it attacked after experiencing the first year of residency. You hear about it all the time, but like everything else in medicine, nothing quite prepares you for what it has in store for you. So I wanted to briefly discuss what it means to be a resident when you're first starting out through the lens of my experience and others I've spoken to, and Yona will eventually hope to post his own as well. So you'll realize really quickly, uh, if you're not in your, if not in your fourth year in residency for sure, that your environment plays a huge role in your overall experience. The co-residents and attendings make a difference, especially your intern year. Unfortunately, even if you knew your co-residents coming into the program, everyone's personality is almost put to test during residency. Uh, and why is that? Mainly because it's a grueling experience during which people can be running off of one hour of sleep, constant critiquing, working on hand skills, and catching up on research logging. Other constant miscellaneous items that are required of us. So intern year for me took quite a lot of adjusting for at least six months. You don't even know what you're getting into with the program until you're knee deep in the residency yourself. So rules versus guidelines can be fairly blurred. Sometimes current residents themselves can conjure up some and expect you to catch on without it being explicitly told to you. That one's fun. But uh, on top of the regular struggles of learning to navigate intern year at a new hospital and figuring out the hospital and staff politics and where you belong within it all, there's also learning how to function in the toxicity of the culture and medicine. And as many of you know, I wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm a genuine individual. But with those qualities come, at least back then, it came with naivety, forgiveness, and tolerance back then, which actually fed into and allowed misunderstandings to fester at that time. Unfortunately, that pre-med mentality, it's still strong in our careers and that people will do what it takes to lift themselves up at your expense if you're not careful and they try to pin the issues on one individual. So if you don't take the time to get to know others as much as possible, explain your thought process with why you took certain actions, maybe even jot down proof of misconduct around you as it happens, people will side with the people that they know best or feel are the individuals in power. It's a natural human tendency, so I don't blame them. <laughs> but this being my first full-time job and adulting, I was humbled very, very quickly. Another interesting topic is faking it till you make it. It's a motto to follow, certainly, as well. Now, by that, I mean not being afraid to ask questions in the beginning by first feeling out who will welcome the questions, of course, which you'll only know by trial and error, but also approaching every scenario with an inner belief in yourself. I feared a good amount my first go around, and I see the reaction when I now confidently take an action versus do things with fear. Uh, the beauty of residency is that these are final years when we have the more experienced among us watching our moves and correcting us as they see fit. So let's take advantage of that. That's important. The ones who give themselves permission to be assertive in their learning, such as in surgery, are the ones who are taking their experiences into their own hands. And they're the ones that you'll oftentimes notice the attendings will more often than not pass the blade to. So I've myself had to learn and really push myself daily to actively show interest because no one will know otherwise that what you do or you do not care for, they won't know. They can't read our minds. So it's just the game of residency and we just have to learn how to play it right. <laughs> so to talk a little bit about residency itself, I'm going to break it up into uh, the activities that are required of us and our day-to-day -day life. So at my program, we have four months of being on service as an intern, meaning it's dedicated to 
5 a.m. rounding on podiatry patients at the hospital, then updating attendings and co-residents and then writing notes and then heading to surgeries for the day by 7 a.m. So during the day, we could be consulted on ED patients and patients already on the floors at the hospital, which is what makes it a little, little complicated. Uh, we technically finish by 5 p.m., but we'll notice that there are days that we stick around to finish some items here and there that we didn't get done due to the surgeries during the day or whatever else came up. At 5 p.m., we have to sign out with an intern on call and then the upper year, and we have to... Um, Oh, and, and the upper year that I'm speaking of is the upper year on buddy call, during which time we discuss the ongoing issues with patients and then we pass off the pager to the intern that's on call, meaning they would have to answer any pages that came in or partake in any surgeries between 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. the next day unless the intern or upper year, intern slash interns, or upper years, on service want the surgery that may have come in during that time period. So we always have an upper year as a backup call for any guidance and help all year round. It's definitely frightening on the first few times and maybe honestly even the entire year that you have to have the pager in when you're on call and when you're on service especially. A lot is required of you. Everyone's kind of looking to you to see what's going on with the patients. You are the one in touch with the attendings the most as an intern. So we work up the patient, we order any pertinent labs and imaging, we update the attending and we act accordingly. That's what, that's what happens when we're seeing consults. So we have a few off-service rotations such as rheumatology, internal medicine, emergency medicine, and more during which we dictate how much we get out of the experience with our effort our curiosity with the wealth of knowledge our attendings all have and the population of patients we see. That's something to keep in mind no matter where you go. It's up to you. That's, that is the nature of residency. On clinical rotations, we have wound care clinic. We work with our director at his office where we see his patients with a lot of ind independence and several other clinics that we go to. And you'll notice that many programs will have podiatry sprinkled into everything we do whether or not we're on service or surgery, especially when coverage is needed. So programs will often have weekly academics with journal club when one resident presents a topic and after we have discussions about journal articles that are related on controversial aspects of the subject. My favorite are workshops when we work with cadavers and medical reps with their new products because we get a lot of hands-on activities and we get to practice our skill set. And then the pre presentations our director makes on surgical techniques and planning, those are also my favorite because these are key, definitely key for our profession and a lot of what we do. Um, our director has cases with us almost every other week uh, when he oversees us and throws in advice and discussions throughout. And that's about it. Um, I didn't wanna go into too much detail because that is a lot for this one video. But to wrap this up, um, the grass will always look greener at another program with certain aspects. And then when you dig further, you can see that actually your program looks greener uh, or your program's grass looks greener than the other side. Um, at the end of the day, residency is really all about how much you're willing to get out of it because you're no longer being tested on a constant basis on your knowledge with paper as much as you are applying it in surgery and patient care and clinic. We're blessed that we're now living the dream. We work toward daily. So when times get tough, I truly try to remind myself how far we've come and that puts everything back into perspective. Most of what I discussed in this video are subjects Yona and I will dive into further so that you're prepared for what's to come. Hope this gave a lot of you some insight into what to expect. So drop any questions down below, email us, message us on Instagram. We aren't as, we are, we weren't as readily responsive intern year, but now as second years, we've adjusted and we'll be back to our old selves. So we're here to help. Pod Squad, signing.